heading into Thursday. I know you want to know about Tropical Storm Dorian, which we are tracking in the extreme eastern part of the Caribbean Sea. It has not been able to strengthen much. Its winds are still at 50 miles per hour because there is dry air getting into the system and just preventing it from really getting going. Here is the forecast path as of just a little while ago from the National Hurricane Center. It will be near Puerto Rico tomorrow. It will then get toward the Bahamas late this week, and right now it does look like it may stay a tropical storm. You know that that could go up or down with the intensity forecast as it gets toward the east coast of Florida this weekend. Looking at computer models, you can see that a few of them do bring it into the corner of the Gulf of Mexico, but then continue to push it to the north and turn it out to the northeast. This is the GFS model showing it kind of fizzling here and eventually just kind of uh, really ending over northern Florida. This is the Euro. Now this is something new. It does take it into the Gulf, gets it close to the Florida panhandle and then turns it off to the north. And this would be the steering pattern around this high and also this trough of of low pressure kind of drawing it to the north. So we will have to see for now. We keep the seven day forecast looking pretty much like average rain chances from Sunday into Monday and Tuesday. Uh, again, it's a long way out. We will be tracking Dorian closely, but at this point it doesn't look like it will get close enough to have a big impact on us. OK, well, that's not that is good news, yes. but certainly want to watch. Thanks, Alexandra. For more than 30 years, the Department of Defense